I'm going to show you how to line an envelope with a napkin without using Mod Podge or glue. Hello, Donna here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an envelope from scratch using this craft paper and line it with a napkin. The craft paper I'm going to use is a particular kind of craft paper and this was sent to me by my friend Gaylene and she picked it up from Kmart in Australia and it's on a roll 12 meters by 50 centimeters wide. Now this craft paper is a special type of paper and it's waterproof on one side and just your flat mat craft paper on the other. Now it's the shiny side here that we are going to use to adhere our napkin to. You are going to be so impressed with how easy this is to do. So what we're going to do to get started is pick out what napkin you want to use. Now I've got one here that's a three ply. So what we have to do is peel away the back two pieces so we're left with just the printed piece. So pull one piece at a time and just put them off to the side. We don't need to use them in this project. Now I'm not using an ironing board. I've got a piece of glass down on my sideboard here with a bath mat sitting over the top. I've got my iron set to cotton. When you cut your craft paper off the roll, it curls up a lot. So you've got to fight with it a little bit. When you get your napkin sheet on the top, just start from the center and iron it towards the outside. And look at how easy it is just adhering to the back of the craft paper. I'm just confirming I am ironing the napkin to the shiny side of the craft paper. I'm just taking my time and going slow and I'm just making sure that it's all adhered as best I can. But I'm going to flip it over and you'll notice there's a few bubbles on this side there and that's where it hasn't adhered properly. So doing it on both sides is going to make sure you get that really good contact. Now I'm going to turn it back over this side and you'll see there's just a couple of creases in there. If they don't bother you, leave them. Otherwise, just use the nose of your iron and just press them out. And that's it. Your craft paper is now lined with your napkin. Now I'm going to use a pattern that I made that's part of a set of this vellum envelope. Now this envelope set is available in my online shop. I'm going to put the link below for you. If you're interested, you can make the same envelope as I'm making here today. I'm just going to make up this envelope here using the method of this craft paper with this napkin on this side. So I'll just quickly cut out this envelope and then I'll trace it out onto the back here. Now it doesn't matter whether you use a scotch knife to cut out, just cut straight out on the black lines or whether or not you fussy cut with a pair of scissors. Now I always find it best to cut out my envelope on the craft paper side. So just work out which is the right side up if your napkin has a right side up. So you've got to work out how you want to see it on the inside. So I turn it over that way and sort of have it like that. So this is going to be the outside of your envelope and the pretty paper will be on the inside. If you hold it up to the light, you can actually see through. I can see the pattern through the, the napkin here. So I'm just going to get my best area. So I'm going to get that area there on my flap. I'm going to put it off to the side and get as much of that area in there. Trace around with a pencil. 
and then I'll just go ahead and cut this out. I want to try and cut it out and save some of this because I can use this for something else. So that's the inside of my envelope and the outside. So before I get moving on any further, I'm just going to make sure that there are no pencil lines. I just use my brother scan and cut scraper. It's really thin. If you haven't got one of these, just use your bone folder to lift that up. And that just helps you fold that in that nice straight line and press it down with your fingers. And do the same to the other side. You just use the ruler to put that crease in there. Because you don't really need to use your scoreboard. You could, but just be aware that you could rip your paper. So use a light hand if you do. Lift that up. So this is now the front of the envelope. So we're going to fold that toward the front and even it up and press it down with your fingers. So I'm just going to put my ruler across here but move it up a fraction just so that when I fold this line here that it's not hitting those ends. It's just ever so slightly above it and that'll help it to close better. And that'll also show you whether or not you need to rub any more lines out you don't notice them until it's laying on top of something else. Right now we're ready to glue this down. What I like to do is put the glue on here because this is a bit longer than here. These are really quick to make too. Now that's good to just finish up with a bit of distress ink and embellish it however you like. But that's a pretty neat little envelope with a lovely surprise when you open it up. It's got a lovely finish with using up your napkins. I've got a whole lot of napkins. I've got a whole box full. So if you've made a journal and you've used one of these napkins in your journal and you've got an extra one, line one of your envelopes with it and match it to your page. I just used the vintage photo on this one. And there we have our lovely envelope that's got a, a beautiful surprise when you open it up. This is another style envelope that I made. So it doesn't matter what style envelope that you make, it's going to work for you. It's going to look really good. So just make it in any size or shape that you want you know it's going to work. So that's it from me today. The pattern that I've used today is available in my online shop over on my brand new website. I'd love to see you there. Thanks for tuning in and ciao for now.